Millions of socks are lost every year. Can we stop this calamity before we're all barefoot in the streets? I'm Bill Markham, and Crosstalk is heating up. Joining us tonight, host of Primetime, Chet Prime, and the lovely Suzanne Smithers, actress, loss advocate, and author of the much lauded Sock and Awe. Suzanne? What's it gonna take, Bill? I mean, what has to happen before people start taking this issue seriously? Losing our shirts or our <laughs> pants? Yeah, I'm sorry, Suzanne, but your little conspiracy theories won't fly in this network. See, the real crisis here is you and your ridiculous organization. Chad, the but how do you explain all of the mounting evidence? I mean, haven't you ever lost any of your own socks? Of course I've lost socks. Who hasn't lost socks? You know what else I've lost? I've lost my keys, found them. Why? Because they weren't mad at me, I just lost them. Your insensitivity is sickening. And you are only making things worse. It's my Socks fault. It, have okay. feelings, Chet, oh, and the barbaric practices of the laundry industrial complex are what's driving them away. Mm. Overdrying, load abandonment, excessive detergent use. Mm. No wonder these socks are taking their chances out there alone. Just look what happens to them. Look. Sock fighting. It's a gruesome topic. Maybe we ought to talk about something else. Oh, no, no, no. The people deserve to know that, Bill. OK, well, Suzanne plays a doctor on TV, but is she right on the diagnosis? Joining us now from Lost Headquarters, Dr. Neil Jutley. Oh, hi, guys. Hi. Uh, doctor, what can you tell us about the sock loss epidemic? Oh, it's bad. Anything else? The socks are harmed by archaic laundry conditions. See, Chad, that's frankly, exactly what I'm talking yeah. about. But what can people do about it, Doctor? We need to adopt new laundry garment bathing technologies <laughs> like our partners at the GE Center you for know, Advanced I, Laundry Studies have pioneered. Harsh conditions are causing socks to abandon their partner and, and evade collection. I'm sorry to interrupt here, but garment bathing technology? Are you kidding me? Let's move why don't on. We just... Suzanne, why don't you tell us about your new book? Oh, well, thank you, Bill. I actually brought it with me. It's called Sock and Awe. And with this Yeah, book... and as far as pop-up books go, it's fantastic. How many copies have you sold? Well, Chet, it's already on the top 10 bestseller list. Very impressive. My bestseller, Bet on Chet, sold 50,000 copies in the first day. Oh, and I bet it really sucks. Well, you probably won't read Thank it you. because it's got a lot Thank of big words in it. Thank you both for uh, joining us tonight. Now for tonight's Mark a Minute, I would like our audience to open their drawers, open their hearts, and consider the plight of the sock in today's America. Um, actually, Bill, it's not just America. The it's problem a world extends domination. to all Here of the continents. OK, guys, look, you don't interrupt me while I'm doing the Markham Minute. Have you ever seen the show when before? she's talking about fabric running guys, away we, from can me? Can we cut the feed? South America, there's a very the large... Thank you for joining us. Good night and good crosstalk.